okay so in this video i'm going to write a python code to determine the armic polynomials by the help of recursive relations so i have already defined the recursive relations which is h0 is equal to 1 h1 is equal to 2x and h for nth value is this the third line is the recursive relation so i'm going to use i'm going to define a function to use this recursive relations so first we are going to use some libraries import math okay so first we have to save the file let's save it as a test file okay so test.py so i have imported the library import math which i'm not going to use but i usually do that and then the import numpy as np and the final is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt here i'm using the atom editor uh, you can also work in vim editor there are also so many v code and so on uh, it depends what do you prefer i prefer atom so okay okay so let's define the function first let the function name is let's define it by name her for her might not for her okay so for n if the if n equals 0 what is the function it's 1.0 plus look carefully here i'm defining something here I have defined plus 0x because sometimes what happens that in the last minute the python says that for n is equal to 0 you don't have any list of numbers you have only just one number so to get rid of that error I am using plus 0x okay okay so let's define the new function l if n equals 1 what is the function it's 2x uh, be careful here i'm using 1.0 0, 0 0.0 2.0 i'm using the float numbers not the integers numbers okay so you should be careful with them you should also use the float numbers and the third one is else what is the function this is the function 2x and this the whole value this is the recursive relation you can find it in any kind of mathematical physics book okay so i, I also just started learning python that's why uh, i'm uploading this code so that it, it could help many other new learners so here i have used n and x are the variables so x and n i'm using it here okay so the thing is that we have to plot a graph between x values and the hermite well, hermite polynomials for what is h1 h2 and hn so we need h x in the array space uh, let's plot it between minus pi to pi it will look beautiful i, I can make sure i can assure you that between minus 1 to 1 it doesn't look beautiful but it between minus pi to pi it looks beautiful i'll show you okay and the other thing is that for let's define n in np dot a range we have to find the values between 0 to let's define to 7 okay so i have used the number 8 because uh, in python it take one less number than the redefined in the list okay uh, then the range we have defined okay so okay let's proceed let's the solution is defined by soul and here is the function h e r and instead of x i am using x wells and instead of small n i am using capital n uh, do, uh, remember that python is a case sense python is case sensitive okay so let's check whether we are getting any kind of error or not i hope not but yeah we are getting an error okay so the problem is that here i have defined the function h and here h e r you can see and here i am using the word h so 
we have to change h to h e r okay so let's check again yeah we are not getting any kind of header so let's plot let's plot uh, let's plot between x wells and solution and here i am getting out of this loop because what happens that if we stay inside it will plot one by one n is equal to n is equal to zero n is equal to one in different graphs not in a single graph so to plot in a single graph i'm using this yeah good one okay so right now it's not looking good that i can see for sure but uh, uh i'll take care of that i'll show you something right now okay so first we will define the range and then i think it will look beautiful that i gonna show you okay so let's define let's define like y is equal to from minus thousand to thousand and let's see what happens now ah uh, okay looking good so far so good okay you can also reduce the numbers for n by changing the loop you can also uh, carry the value n is equal to six this will look more and more beautiful okay so that depends up to which value you want to determine the hermit pole numbers okay so let's make the graph more beautiful x x sticks it's uh, first we have to define the font size is equal to let's define it 14 and font weight is equal to bold similarly we can define the same thing for x sticks now we can look okay sorry uh we have to change it here instead of x we have to use y okay now this looks more beautiful and oriented uh, we can do some more things if you like let's see okay so you can define which one is n which one is equal to n1 and which one is n2 so the thing is that you have to define a label is equal to n is equal to as you know when we have to define n is equal to n plus one so you can define in a way like n is equal to plus and that string and which is the n which is inside the loop so now it will show you which line represents which color represents which are my polynomial okay so let's see yeah okay the now the gra graph looks more colorful i would say for n is equal to zero you can say that it's a blue line n is equal to one orange n is equal to two green line n is equal to three that's a red line so this this is these are our our have my polynomials so that's it if you have any question please leave it in the comment section i have already uploaded that code in at stack overflow i will leave the link in the description so you can check it out and thank thank you very much